working there, for goodness sake. Right, there we go. Right, so finally, Wi-Fi is working. So, um, where was I? Okay, so, Rana. So, I watched Rana's match yesterday, and uh, well done, Rana. That's the biggest thing. First and biggest and best thing to say is well done to Rana. To uh, beat the American girl, Hovde, and not only to beat her, uh, you know, really take, re really put her under pressure. And I tell you what was interesting to me about the match was when, um, or what the, one of the biggest things I noticed, obviously as a coach, was the the art about co the art of coaching is knowing when to coach and knowing when not to coach. And I think yesterday, uh, Hovdi's coach did a bit too much coaching because that Hovdi got the second set completely right. So whatever she said to herself in the second set, she got right. She fixed and started to make work. Um, but in the third set, it was just whoever was least hanging was gonna make it through, which is crazy to me, because if, if Rana had have just hit a few less unforced errors, and the commentary I thought on the match was brilliant, but if she'd have hit a few less unforced errors, she clearly, clearly would have had herself in a much better position. Now, that's the same for any player, really, or any aggressive player. However, however, um, for me, the, to, to, for because they were talking about transition, for me, the transition for Rana is heavily based on improvements to her footwork. She improves her footwork. She gives herself a really good chance really really good chance that footwork needs to improve uh, and shot selection she's got the shots but she needs to get the shot selection right she needs to get her footwork right and you know sort out those two things you're in a really good position she's in a really good position to to go far now one thing I noticed, which uh, it, it's like it's like a vault, a vulture lurking. One thing I noticed was um, uh, Louis Kaye, who's the doubles coach. Yeah, was watching. Now, if he's just watching, great, supporting, great. If he's going to be recruiting for um, doubles players, listen. And I keep saying this, you get your singles game down first. You don't do singles the same time as doubles. And that's because it's so hard to be a singles player. It's not as hard to be a doubles player. It's still hard, but not as hard. So therefore, if you want to be a singles player or a singles champion, you focus on your singles first. Doubles is a bonus. Double doubles isn't on par. It's not even 30%. Depending on your mindset, depending on your ambition, depending on where you want to be with your tennis. So don't yes, there are double specialists. And if you're a double specialist, specialist, be one. Don't try and have your feet in both camps. At, at, at an age where you're transitioning before transition fine after transition kind of fine but can be a distraction depending on your abilities and that's the 
that's the overriding factor. It's all dependent on your abilities, the individual's abilities. If you're a selfish type player, so let me give you an example. Uh, uh, Spurs played Marseille yesterday. Spurs won 2 0. Richarlison scored both. Yeah. Now, there was twice where Son, who hasn't scored this season, could have played the ball in and instead he tried some ridiculous angle shot. Now, it's not ridiculous to him because he scores great goals from those types of angles. But when someone's in a much better position, the unselfish thing to do would be to pass the ball. Now, that's why some strikers yeah, either need to play up front on their own or need to have the understanding with a player that they're going to have that shot. Because the, the downside of that is, is that essentially strikers have to be selfish. And it's just when they get an opportunity, they can take it. Now, in doubles, you need to kind of have one person to offset the other. So if you've got one aggressive, you can't, it's not necessarily the case to have two aggressive players. Yeah, it's kind of like one might be aggressive, one might be a little less aggressive. Yeah, normally one's more percentage and the other's more aggressive or whichever way. Yeah, so they complement each other. Um, I would just like to see Rana focus on her singles game and go far in the singles game. Now, if she's playing doubles, I don't, I don't even know. I don't. I never even check. I only ever see if it like pops up. So on the Amazon timeline, I, mean, I, I just look for the Great Britain flag, the UK flag, and then and then I just see who's there. So if under name, if under the name I see who it is, I like. So for example, I saw yesterday the Element Donalds playing doubles. Now, fair enough. You know, you want an extra game. You want to get back out on court. So yeah, that's why I think. You know, double should almost be at the end of the tournament. <laughs> I know it's never going to be, but the doubles, the players that are in singles. I mean, it's a whole different. That's a whole different um, topic. And I'm going off topic. I want to stay back on Rana. <coughs> so for me, Rana really needs to to improve her footwork. And she needs to improve the such slot shot selection. So therefore, her mental um, cognitive abilities need to improve. The way she processes information needs to improve. The way she understands her tennis needs to improve. And when it does, I think she's got a real good chance. I think she's got a real good chance of, of uh, making a grade of tennis player that that you know, I mean she's uh, the only British girl. So at the moment she's the British number one, must be. Or if not, she's the most accomplished player because she's the only one still in the draw and gets to play again today or tomorrow. I need to check the draw. Hopefully it's today. So when I get home, I, I've got another match to watch because. Uh, I mean, the style of play is great. It has improved. I remember watching her lose to Eva Shaw in the national championships. And she was almost frightened. You could see she was almost frightened to play Eva. She was almost frightened. She didn't have that eye of the tiger. She was, she, she, she um, went on the court. You could tell by her body language. You could tell by how she approached the court. You could tell by the... She was almost, it looked like she was scared to hit a winner past Eva or scared to attack Eva. Whereas what she should have done is gone all out against Eva. So that was one of the last, um, uh, so I think that wasn't this year, I think that was last year. Yeah, that was definitely last year. And obviously she, I didn't see her play at Wimbledon, but um, I think she played at the Australian Open. But, my, my, but um, and even at the Australian Open, 
Yeah, you can see she's got talent, but the two things that she needs to improve is the shot selection and and the footwork. And for and what looks essentially like quite an athletic girl, it should be easier to improve the footwork. But everyone's different, and that's why I say um, when you put someone's program together, it's got to be. Uh, obviously based on the individual because the, what they need would be different now I hope and pray she's not involved in any kind of squads or anything because if they want to make the transition for her she hasn't got time to do squads um, if she's doing A levels I'd be very interested if she's doing A levels she should be doing a B tech if she's doing education so A, she can do it online and focus full time on her training. And B, it's not uh, three A levels or two A levels and an AS level. It's hard work. B tech is still hard work, but not as hard work as A and AS levels. <coughs> so if they've got that program right, we might be seeing in the next year or so, Rana transitioning into the pro game but for that to happen she really needs to improve the footwork and her shot selection and uh, but she's in the right place in terms of where she's competing she's competing well um, the other girl did you know drop a deuce on her do you know what I mean like just giving her what, what, what the commentator gets, donations Commentator says you keep giving her donations. <coughs> so that hub D was giving her so many free points, it was unbelievable. But you gotta take them, and tennis is about taking opportunities. So well done Rana, keep it up and good luck today. Listen guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's keep building the channel. Uh, big things come in, in terms of websites and and uh, more lesson-based teaching. Right, see that guys, bye.